In this video I will show you how to navigate inside the most important panels in After Effects. So let's start with the Composition window. First of all, what you can do in the Composition window, let's click on it to activate it. And now we can zoom in and zoom out by scrolling our mouse wheel. If I scroll down with the mouse wheel, then you see I will zoom out. And if I scroll upwards, then I will zoom in. You can also specify the zoom level by accessing the magnification ratio pop-up. So let's click this and then you can choose a zoom value right with these numbers here. You can also choose the option to fit. For example, if I choose fit here, then After Effects will fit the zoom level according to my panel size. So if I change the panel size now, you see that After Effects will zoom in and make this bigger and smaller if I make the panel size smaller. And then you have the other option that's called fit up to 100%. So if I make the panel bigger now, then you will see that at a zoom level of 100%, After Effects will stop zooming in and the size of my preview will stick at 100%. So for now, I will choose 50%. The next option that you have inside the composition panel is that you can navigate in your scene. Therefore, you can hold down space to switch to our hand tool, and then you can click with the left mouse button and drag around your composition. So this is especially useful if we are in a higher zoom level. And for example, I want to move around here. I hold down space, click and drag with my left mouse button. And now I can take a look at my project. You can access the hand tool also through our toolbar. You see it's right up here. So you could just click it and select it like this, and then you can move around here too. And you could also use the keyboard shortcuts. You see they are always displayed uh, beneath the name of the tool. So in this case, it's an H, but as I said, it also works with the space bar. Most of the times I just use the space bar, hold the space bar down and left click and drag. If you're working on a small screen and you want to take a more detailed look on what you are creating, then you have the possibility to maximize your panel. Therefore, you enter the panel options menu here by clicking on this menu icon. And then you go to panel group settings and then you choose maximize panel group. Now you see that the panel group is maximized in our application window. Now I can come in here and take a more detailed look on my composition. If you want to restore the size again, then again, access the panel menu, choose panel group settings and go to restore panel group size. And now After Effects will jump back to your normal work area layout. So let's move out here a little bit and let's move to our timeline and let's check out the navigation options that we have in our timeline. In the timeline, you also have the possibility to zoom in and zoom out. You see that down here we have this slider. It's called zoom into frame level or out to entire comp. Now you see I am right here. So I see the whole duration of my composition, which is set to 10 seconds. If I move this slider now, I can move in here and you see that now this display also changes and now we can move in really close and we can access each frame here and navigate with our time indicator through the time of our composition. We can also do this by holding down the Alt key and scrolling with our mouse wheel. So if you scroll down, you zoom out. If you scroll upwards, you zoom in. And then again, you can navigate through your animation through the time using your time indicator. Uh, by the way, you just click it right here in the symbol, click with the left mouse button, and then you can drag it left or right. So let's zoom out here again by using Alt and our mouse wheel. Another option that you have here, for example, if we uh, open up a few parameters here so that we see a little bit more going on here, just to fill this up. And now let's zoom in here. So maybe we are working in detail here on this area here. By the way, you also have this bar down here. And using this bar, you can navigate through the timeline. You can also do this by holding down Shift and scrolling your mouse wheel. Hold down Shift and scroll down. We'll move our bar to the right and scrolling up will move our 
composition or our timeline here to the left. But you can also use the hands tool in the timeline window. So if I press space and hold down space, now you see that I can navigate with my hand tool. I can move up and down here, but I can also move left and right. So this is a very quick way to move through your timeline, to navigate in the timeline when you are zoomed in a little bit further and when a lot of parameters here are revealed. Another option that we have to navigate in our time graph is this bar up here. You can see now I'm zoomed out totally so I can see the whole duration of my composition. And if I drag these ends here, you see if I navigate with my mouse over the time navigator end, then I can drag this in and you see that now I'm also zooming into my project quite detailed. And now I can also shift this around and can navigate through my project using this navigator bar up here. Now let's take a quick look at some other panels, for example at the project panel. Each time if After Effects has not enough room to display the whole content of the panel in this panel area, then it will somehow display a navigation bar. In the project panel you can see that the navigation bar is right here. And if I click with my left mouse button and drag this, then you see that I can access the areas of this panel that are not visible because of the limited panel size. I could of course also come here and make this bigger. And as soon as everything is displayed, After Effects will uh, fade out this navigation bar. You see that a similar thing is visible right here. So you also see that in the Effects and Presets panel, there's a little bit more to explore. So we can take this navigation bar and can move down here. And if this is extended here, then the navigation bar will disappear. And we know, okay, we can see everything that is inside this panel. Good, this is it for a quick intro into navigation and After Effects panels. And in the next video, we will take a look at the most important After Effects tools.